Um, hi everyone. I hope you're enjoying your day. By the way, it's afternoon here. It's about 5 p.m. and I'm outside as you can see. So it's quite a bit noisy out here, but I hope you can hear me out alright. So I have my friend with me. I'm just oh my, I will, I'm just going to show her to the wall. Say hi! hi. So there you guys asking me how you can make your Facebook profile a pilot one. Just watch the video until the end. Hopefully you'll learn something there. We're just enjoying ourselves here outside. The, the weather is so... Not really so cold, but... Like, it's cozy type of weather. See you later! So welcome to this page. We are going to talk about how to set your Facebook profile private. Now let's, this is a dummy account. I, I've just created it a while ago. On the upper right side of your page, once you are logged in, you will see this button. This is an arrow down button, so just click on that. And then go down to settings. It is the second to the last option. And once you click on that, you will see this page here. Now, there are only two things that we're going to talk about. Privacy and timeline and tagging. So first we are going to talk about privacy because that is our main topic. Under privacy, you'll have privacy settings and tools. Now, under your activity, you have your three different choices. First one is who can see your future posts. If you don't want your friends to see them, just click on edit and then in this arrow down button, you can choose public, friends, friends of friends. You can actually set this one to, let's check more, only me. Once you choose that, you just click on close and go to review all your posts and things you're tagged in and click on use activity logged. So you don't have something to review on, so just click on back. Now the next one, or the last one under your activity, is limit the audience for posts you have shared with friends or friends or public. So limit past posts. You can just click on this one and then choose the photos that you want to limit your audience with. So the next one is how people find and contact you. The first one here is who can send you friend requests. So if you want to edit that, just click on edit. And then if you want the friends of your friends to find and contact you, you can choose friends of friends. Or if you want just anybody to contact and find you on Facebook, just choose everyone. But for now, we are going to choose friends of friends and then we're going to close it. Next one is who can see your friends list. I would recommend to having it only me so that nobody can see or check where your friends are. The next option is who can look you up using the email address you provided. For now this is set up under friends of friends but you can you can edit this one to just choose or click edit and then go to the arrow down button here you can choose friends or friends of friends only me and everyone so for now you're going to choose friends of friends now go to who can look you up using the phone number you provided so click edit if you want to change this to everyone Everyone who knows your phone number or have your phone number can actually search you on Facebook. But if you want to have your friends only or your, the friends of your friends, then you can choose it. Friends of friends. The next one is, do you want search engines outside of Facebook to link to your profile? If you don't want to, you just leave it as blank. But if you want to allow search engines outside of Facebook to link to your profile, you can check the box here and allow it. So let's go back to 
the left side of your page, you'll see it, timeline and tagging. So just click on that. It says here on top, timeline and tagging settings. Under timeline, you can see who can post on your timeline. If you want that only you can post on your timeline, then you can choose only me. Next one is you can see what others post on your timeline. Now, if you want your friends to see what you posted online or on your Facebook, you just set it as friends. But if you don't want to, you can edit it under everyone or friends of friends or friends and allow others to share your posts to their stories. But if you don't want others to share your post to their stories, then you can just disable it. Next one is hide comments containing certain words from your timeline. So if you don't want that specific word to be shown on your timeline, you can just edit this one and then type in the word that you don't want to be seen on your timeline and then just click add here. So that's it and then save and when you are tagged in a post, who do you want to add to the audience of the post if they can't already see it? So you can also edit it to friends or friends or friends. Uh, but for now, we have it under friends. And who sees tag suggestions when photos that look like you are uploaded? So if you just the same, you can choose friends or friends or friends. You just have to click the edit button here and then choose friends or friends of friends. So just go back. Under review, you can review posts you are tagged in before the post appears on your timeline. So you can set it under enabled or disabled. So if you, we are going to enable that, you can approve it or not. And who sees tag suggestions when photos that look like you? Oops, that's the one. Review what other people see on your timeline. Review tags. So this one. Review tags people add to your posts before the tags appear on Facebook. Review tags people add to your posts before the tags appear on Facebook. Now if someone you now if someone who you are not friends with adds a tag to your posts, you'll still be asked to review it. But remember when you approve a tag, the person tagged and their friends may be able to see your post. So if you want to review that, you can click or you can choose enable here on the drop down menu or disabled but then for now we're just going to choose enabled so that's pretty it it's how you can make your Facebook profile private if you have any questions or suggestions you can just type in the comment below that's it guys that's how you make your uh, Facebook profile private and thank you so much to my friend here, Zyra, for being with me this afternoon and um, say hi to the World Wide Web. It's nice meeting you. So that's it guys. Um, just enjoy.